Hello folks, this is Scott with Dallas Paint Correction and Auto Detailing here in Dallas, Texas. I want to talk about something simple, right? This is wheel well cleaning. These wheel well plastic liners can be a little bit of a pain in the butt to clean. What's happening over the years, the profile between the fender and the wheel is shrinking. Even on family sedans, especially on sports cars, even on some SUVs, really wide open wheel wells, if you will, are still kind of found on big pickup trucks. Years ago, we used to have like those big brushes with a 20 inch long handle and you could get in there and clean the wheel well. You could still use them, but they're big, they're bulky, they're long. Sometimes you bang in the actual painted fender here. I don't like those things. You could never use them on really low profile sports cars. I also notice what guys will do is they'll spray their favorite degreaser on the plastic liner of the wheel well and they'll take something like a Daytona Speedmaster or they'll take something like this Easy Detail brush. They'll come in from the bottom of the wheel and kind of lightly scrub the side of that wheel well. That's fine right here at this moment, but if you notice, this is to keep the brush completely inside the wheel well. If I come up here, I instantly hit the strut that is behind the wheel here. It naturally makes me want to come forward to be able to make the brush fit inside the wheel well. Now I've got these little fine bristles dragging across the top of this fender here on the painted area. So if I actually tried to scrub the top of this fender well by bypassing the strut behind it, I've got this brush hanging out. Folks, I don't like this at all. I would, I'd be willing to say a lot of people who have dialed in cars and have one of these brushes and they're cleaning their wheel wells with it, they're probably going to have fine scratches along the fender here. Not a fan of that. For years, I've been using something that's really cool. Here is a toilet bowl cleaner, right? This is made by Dawn. It's got a short 10 inch handle, I'd be willing to say. It's got a round head and round bristles, rather small, but it's got plenty of length to be able to get in there and do what I have to do. What's really nice about this is it's completely round. Every time I pick this thing up, it's always ready for me to go versus those older 20 inch long handle brushes. I have to pick it up, make sure I've got the bristles pointed the right way and get inside the fender well. This is so effective, so efficient. Every time I grab it, it's ready to go. So when I come behind the wheel here and I can scrub this plastic liner and get in there, it's about 10 inches long. And now when I come to the strut area here, I can still work all around the top of that wheel well and not be bringing that brush dangerously close to the paint here and just work my way around inside this wheel well. Folks, this is one of the cheapest, easiest ways to clean a wheel well with plastic liners. This thing cost me about a dollar, dollar fifty at the Dollar General store perfectly round. It can get between the wheel and the bottom of the wheel well just fine. I actually have some electrical tape kind of wrapped around this plastic handle just in case I did hit this fender by mistake. I'm not worried about scratching anything. This is one of the cheapest, oh, most amazing wheel well brushes or wheel well cleaning brushes I've been able to find in years and I've been using them for years. Just wanted to share that with you. So simple, so easy. I just go in from behind the tire, on the back side of the tire, come up into the wheel well, just lightly scrub this area. As I have my degreaser all on it, I can get right up by the strut. It's not forcing me to come out too far and scratch the top of the fender there on the painted area. And I can get around here just fine. These brushes are amazing, so cheap, so effective. Just wanted to share that with you. Talk to you soon, love you guys.